Hey guys, today we're going to talk about chlorine in tap water. Okay, now if you have city water, hopefully you have a filter underneath your sink or in your whole house. One point I want to bring up is that you actually, if you, if you don't have a filter in your shower, uh, you can absorb a tremendous amount of chlorine. So it, it, it does go through the skin. Uh, so there's some complications to chlorine. One is lung problems, increase your risk for bladder cancer, decreases your immune system. Of course, the CDC says it's safe, so we know it's safe, right? But it's very toxic to fish. But I do understand that you need to actually disinfect um, whatever's in the water, but you just need a good filter in your house. But here's an interesting point. Um, you want to call your water company and you want to find out, do they use just chlorine or a chemical called chloramine because the problem with chlorine is it evaporates easily and then it's gone. But what they did is they added ammonia to make a new chemical compound called chloramine, which is highly persistent. It stays in the water a lot longer, uh, but the problem is it means it's more toxic. And regular activated carbon filters will not pull this out. You need something a little different. So if you have chloramine in your water supply, you need to get a high-grade catalytic carbon filter. Just a different filter you want to add either underneath the sink or for the whole house. All right, that's my tip of the day. Thanks for watching. Hey, you probably already subscribed, but if you haven't, press this little button down below and I will keep you updated.